Welcome to another interesting episode of Entertainment Gist and Trending Stories right here on Ya TV. I'm Bambi Best, your queen of gist, and this is Ya360. Life artist who has also recorded many hit songs like Nyati Nyati Girl, Running Away, and so on. Kobina Kwachi Kabubu, also known as KK Kabubu. Has received donations from Gamlu and the former president, John Dramani Mahama. As I was revealed that he is battling with liver disease. Ben Makay Chargeman, who visited him, posted pictures and videos of him on social media. In the pictures and in the videos, you could see that he looked very pale and weak, and he was even finding it difficult to speak. Speaking in a live interview on Hit FM on February 27th, speaking in a live interview on Hit FM on February 27th, KK Kabobo said that he was diagnosed with this ailment after he felt a sharp pain in his abdomen. He stated that he received 2,000 Ghana cities from Gamru and also received some donations from some Takradi based groups. And lastly, he received 5,000 Ghana cities from the former president, John Dramani Mahama. So, guys, what are your views on this thing? This keeps happening each and every time. What can we do as citizens to help these industry people as they grow old? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Sister Debbie versus Adam. What's brought about the feud? So recently, Omale brought a girl up on stage during his concert to dance with her. Something that caught many reactions on social media. And the girl came out later to apologize to the public. Sister Debbie showed a disappointment as to why the girl had to come out to apologize. And she wrote this on social media. It paid me while I say the Omale concert girl come out to explain. Kai, dancing keke. Young gays, not married. But taking this thing world cup. Simple entertainment. Jamaicans will be laughing. Boys will cheat publicly and not ever dare apologize publicly. The girl do yawa by apologizing in my opinion. So that was Sister Debbie's opinion. And Adam came to respond to this post by also writing, If you not take relationship world cup, you can't take marriage world cup. One be dressed with hairs out, one be show. Unless you know be serious. So that was Adam's reply. Sister Debbie decided to clap back again to reply on social media. And she wrote, So you know all this, yet you come for dress with hairs out, as global citizen and God's bounce while you had a serious show at another venue. So guys, this whole dress rehearsal and show thing, dress rehearsal as in dating and show as in the marriage itself. Adam came back again to reply to this, that he was never rejected for the festival and still had enough time to perform at his own show. So later when he realized what Sister Debbie was trying to say, he came back and this is what he said. Be blunt as you can. Let's do facts and not insinuate and leave people to assumptions. I am waiting patiently. I have seen tweets imply things, but I want you to be blunt so I can respond in a well-measured manner. So this was Adam's response. And Sister Debbie, trying to be blunt, responded back. And this is what she said. Okay, since you insist, as a married man, why did you pick up my woman friend very late at night after your family was sound asleep? To take her to global citizen and get erased when she omalayed you for an a-list artist is that why my omalay tweet triggered you then sorry that was sister debbie hmm. so adam came back to reply her dear wife at stay gray stand by and read kindly add the name of your woman friend so i can properly dissect the lie and provide you with facts and evidence no quoting i would Add handles and tags of alibis if need be. So now Adam is telling Sir Debbie to tag the names of the person or tell him the name of the person she's talking about. And this is what Sir Debbie said. Masa Masa come out for day. Next time don't come for me. You go explain Taya. So this is Sir Debbie trying to end the whole feud in a stylish way or maybe continue later. But guys, what do you think about this feud? 
didn't start to go too far. Don't you think this can even destroy Adam's marriage? Tomboy, who is currently on his American tour, Europe and Australia, was invited by Wyclef John to his New York home. So in a video circulating on social media, you could see Stoneboy pulling Wyclef on a Ghanaian delicacy watching. As they both enjoyed together, Wyclef commended Stoneboy on his enormous push contributions to African music and called him a genius. Yeah, but watching is what we all know it and it's the rice and pea. Mm -hmm. That's all. Origination of rice and pea that spread all over from Africa, going to the Caribbean. It's going, on, it's going so all is, over Jamaica. Come check it out. Come check come out where it close. is. See, Ricardo, I know you're Jamaican. Y'all ain't even rice right and peas. So right? that's the so so we have like three types of sauce for it. Make this is the red sauce with it, like the tomato sauce. We call it stew, and then this is the more um, spicy sauce. So it comes together with it, and then you have some grated cassava. Mm -hmm. You grit the cassava. You call it gari. That's what you eat it with. Anything else goes goes with plantain. Look at it. Fried rice plantain, what's a root? And then it comes over here with fried chicken, anything worse. For it. That's watch it for you. That's amazing. Yeah, original. The insanely Very talented. Good. Insanely talented. Mm -hmm. Like, not even like talent. Right? So, how do I define genius? Because I'm a genius. I don't define genius like because you hot for error and you, you're doing trends. That's not what makes you a genius. A genius is can you move a generation forward and long after you've gone, can that generation keep moving forward? That's why I say you're a genius. So guys, that was the video. You saw Wyclef and you saw Stoneboy. Stoneboy teaching Wyclef about Awache and Wyclef calling Stoneboy a genius. Let me know what you think about Stoneboy's move and everything that he's doing at the moment. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. So that'll be all for today's episode. My name is Bambi Best, your queen of chess. Don't forget to follow us on all social media handles at Yard TV. On YouTube, subscribe to Yard TV. And for more news updates, www.myyardtv.com. Catch you in the next episode. It's a bye for now. Yeah TV Bridging Continent